With forward pay from Appalachian Wireless, you'll avoid contracts and credit checks while taking advantage of some awesome perks, like unlimited talk, text, and 3 gigs of data for just $44.99, or with 5 gigs for a mere $59.99. Forward pay. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. And ask yourself the question, somebody is going to make a difference. Why would it not be you? Somebody. That was the message here today when world leaders from around the globe gathered here today in Pikeville at the East Kentucky Expo Center for the Alltech Innovation Forum, a forum designed to look at new innovations growing around the world and to see how Eastern Kentucky can capitalize on that spirit of entrepreneurship and development. This is spectacular. This is idea generating, it's throwing out ideas, it's looking over the menu of things that we possibly would like to try to do in the private sector. It's encouraging to people who are innovative and entrepreneurial. Uh, that's what SOAR is trying to do, is generate uh, a lot of new thinking, new ideas, <laughs> taking the new world as we see it and using it for our purposes. During today's forum, Congressman Hal Rogers announced the construction of a new 50,000 square foot spec building to be built at Marion's branch here in Pikeville just the latest in new endeavors to lure new industry into the region. It's a $5 million speculation building. It will be built at the Morton's Branch uh, location, industrial site, in an effort to attract jobs to our region. I think it's terribly important because, uh, number one, the money's hard to come by, by local government. Uh, but secondly, I think this will give us a sales pitch, a sort of a sales leader. People are going to say, you know, they've got all the utilities there. Uh, I'm sure the county and city are going to be very favorable on attractions to bring you here. So I think it's a great start. One of the early achievements Pikeville has its eyes set on, being part of the Kentucky Bourbon Trail. Alltech's new distillery, the Dueling Barrels Distillery, set to open in 2017. Reporting from Pikeville for EKB News, I'm Jackson Latta.